Hello and welcome to 5 minute travel tips with Neil Patel. Today we are going to talk about shoes. And yes, shoes are something that we have a love hate relationship with when it comes to traveling. Well, that's because shoes are such an integral part of your outfit, but at the same time shoes take up so much space in your suitcase. So today we are going to talk about some tips and tricks that you should know before packing your shoes into your suitcase for your next trip. So let's dive in. Number 1, comfort is key. The main thing to remember that your shoes have to be comfortable. They may look good but they may not be comfortable and if that is the case your trip is not going to be an exceptional one. I can tell you that. So comfort is king. Which brings me to my second point. The second thing is do not buy new shoes right before a trip. If you buy new shoes right before a trip there is a large possibility that you might suffer from shoe bite and if you start suffering from shoe bite on the first day or the second day your trip is going to go for a toss the last thing you want to do is be in a new city and instead of exploring the city go and look for a place where you can buy another pair of shoes so remember guys comfort is king and do not buy a new pair of shoes right before a trip make sure you pack shoes that you are used to that you are comfortable in because it's simple you cannot enjoy a trip if you are in pain due to shoe bite and can't walk while ideal shoes would be the ones that are comfortable and also fashionable one thing that i often look for is that comfort trumps fashion when you're on a trip because when you are on a holiday you are just walking a lot which brings me to my third point I have this rule where I try not to pack more than 3 pairs of shoes into my suitcase. Well, you could be going to a beach destination, you could be going to a snow destination, or you could just be going to a destination which involves a lot of walking and has a humid climate. But if you are packing more than 3 pairs of shoes into your suitcase, you are overpacking. So what are these 3 pairs of shoes that I often look for? Well, one is just simple runners or trainers which are super comfortable, look nice, and also are really good to walk in because when you're on a trip like i said you end up walking a lot another one is a pair of sneakers sneakers which i can go out and enjoy a drink at a bar at so sneakers are something that i really pack if i'm going to a place where there's going to be a super formal dinner then i do have to pack formal shoes and that is quite important and guys when it comes to formal shoes make sure you take the shoes that you have been wearing every day to office or to black tie events because they are the ones that are super comfortable and do not buy new ones because i had made this one mistake when i went to an exhibition a long time ago and i bought new shoes right before the trip and yes you guessed it right i suffered from shoe bite so the three pairs of shoes that i often have are simple runners or trainers that i can comfortably walk in a pair of sneakers because sneakers are just fashionable look nice in photos and are incredible and the third one if i have to go for a formal event or a dinner which is super fancy then formal shoes but at the same time i also make sure i have a pair of flip flops or as in australia they call it havianas because those slippers are often handy when you're going out to the beach if you don't like slippers sandals are also a good thing so make sure you look for a pair of slippers or sandals and one of the best thing about sandals or slippers is that they do not take a lot of space in your bag so now that you've packed three things in your suitcase you can still carry your fourth one which is the pair of shoes that you're going to wear at the time of traveling so in all you might just end up with four pairs of shoes so what you could do is you could have your runners you could have your sport shoes that you have on you right before going to the airport and the nicer pairs just go into your suitcase One of the things that you have to really take into account is what are the activities that you're going to do on your trip. Is it going to involve a lot of heavy duty hiking and trekking? Then you might not be just okay taking a pair of running shoes or a pair of sport shoes. You have to probably get hiking boots or trekking boots. If you are wearing sport shoes and if you're going to a cold country, remember if they are not sealed, the cold might get to your feet and you might suffer from cold feet. Another thing that I actually look for is that before deciding my outfits during the trip I make sure that I choose my shoes and then decide what outfits I'm going to wear which go well with the shoes because most people make the mistake of choosing their outfits and then deciding what shoes to get and those shoes are just going to be a mismatch with the outfits that you have decided so that is another thing that you should always keep in mind that 
first pick the shoes that you're going to take to the trip and then decide what outfits you're going to take because this will be a very easy and simple strategy than the other way around. And finally, I would only say that the strategy is about packing minimal and ensuring that you don't end up with two pairs of shoes which look similar or are of the same make because you don't want to end up just inefficiently packing more in your suitcase and then being in that destination and being like, oh my God, I should have gotten another pair of shoes. So remember that. And if you are someone who loves shoes, then make sure that you just pack two pairs and you could probably go to that destination and buy another pair. So that is also something that you should think about. And with that, we come to the end of another episode of 5-Minute Travel Tips with Neil Patil. Thank you for listening in, guys. Keep tuning in every week if you want the best travel tips from all around the world. This is Neil Patil signing off. Ciao. Bye-bye.